You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Same to you, Eerie Wizard. Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get out get on with our battle, I'm already on our I'm already on my side. I I should just get closer with I shouldn't even say anything. Okay, I I was trying to I, I wanted a sneak a news drop, but I guess not. Who are you? Hey, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Uh, then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll be. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back out. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you and the Cap Squad. Everyone else in Deep Star 2. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. So I guess Clyde can do some stuff. That's kind of nice to know. As the boss of this squad, I I just can't. Besides talking to people else. <laughs> Clyde is actually, like, battling other people at a base instead of just making me do all the work. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. Go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a Asa La V-Star from you. Nice and loud. Asa La V-Star. Uh, I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Pin, my Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Yeah, you make me handle 330 Pokemon at once before tackling onto the, the team leader. And you're already telling me, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not. You've done not a lot. <laughs> sorry to spring this on you, but what, do you think you could handle this grand load? Yes. Thanks, I'll be cheering you on in front of the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm ready. And here I come. All right, let's just get this show on the road. All right. Come on, Carmen. Pearl Gunk. I originally thought this was a lightning type thing, but then again, I just remembered just now that there was a lightning type gym leader. Because for a second, the flags looked like they were lightning bolts. But I guess this is a fighting type gym. So I guess Lucario gets a pop off here too. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, I meant to use uh, close combat, but I, Dragon Pulse. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Breach. Let's just use another Dragon Pulse then, I guess. And just go with the full then. Right, there you are. Okay, fainted. That's good. Give the XP. Yay. We defeat you, Carmen. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Or is it? No, it's totally not. Even if I did, if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista. Okay, bye bye. Rotototototo. I take you to feed the guard out front. I sure did. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Cap Squad. Their boss, Eerie, is skilled at wrestler and coaches the whole. Is skilled at wrestler and coaches. Is a skilled wrestler. Oh my god. Grammar. It's a skilled wrestler who coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she's likely the most alert to hostilities after a declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. You're spot on. That, that's pretty much what just happened. I knew it. Tell me what happened. Uh, I totally told her. <laughs> she retreated? We're talking about the same eerie, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Yeah, like, I, I totally talked with my mouth closed. That's totally what happened. <laughs> Ring the bell at the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the cap squad off the map. All right, let's do this. Actually, I should check out my party. Zork, uh, normal ghost just makes sense because of fighting with the ghost type. Bubbles, uh, makes sense fighting, is super effective. And a Donald Duck, close combat. I, it knows as well. Okay. I'm ready.
At least I think having super effective moves on your first three uh, people in your party. I think that's how this works. Uh, where the last bastion of team start losing is an option. I was reading the text before that. Uh, I didn't say it what it was before though. Uh, hey kid, you listening? If you be three of our Pokemon 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? Okay. Yeah, I, I, that time I actually read the text as I was talking to. Uh, defeat three of uh, Team Star's Pokemon. Uh, go away. Boom. Boom. At least it's vertical, so like, I know I can I can only go in one, one direction. Just gotta keep doing this. Okay, keep going, keep going. Uh, come on, come on. Send Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't working before, but no, it is. Send Pokemon. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get this flamingo guy here. There's this thing, this monkey thing. Uh, why is it? No, okay. I don't know why it's like there's a delay. I never felt it before until now, so I don't know why I did. The only one that's taking damage really is Lucario. Surprises me actually, because I figured Bubbles wouldn't have that much of an issue, but. I saw it. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, four more. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, there we are. Uh, oh, Lucario fainted. Interesting. Uh, you use Team Star's vending machine to refresh your card. Alright. That was like the first time I think I did that. Other than, uh, just to see what it was. Like, that was the first time I actually needed to use that. Because I kind of wanted Lucario first. Uh, because... Fighting type super effective. It just makes sense. Alright, we're done. I I don't think we can hold them any off much longer, but I for this uh bit of a room car thing. This car looks sick. As well. As all the cars look sick. I really or airy, sorry. <laughs> I said, I think one of the grunts called her, uh, Riri. <laughs> uh, airy. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll buy it. I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. Rah! Alright. Area star. Toxic broke. That's no match for my bubbles. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Well, that's the thing. It will. Whether or not, if you want to. It's not very effective. I thought fighting was very effective against fighting. Okay, that was my bad. But a stress lies, he's good in this. Oh, it almost killed. Ow. Pour some poison. I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's standing, left standing in the end. Yeah, if the poison doesn't kill me first. <laughs> oh, you have a full, almost a full team. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we'll just have to keep going. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill me. I uh, uh, the living room is set out. Do something. Okay, not very effective. Uh, so apparently, Dark is uh, not very effective against fighting. You know what? You know what? No. It's Garnivore's time to shine. I haven't really used Garnivore all that much, but now, now it's time to Moonblast this. I'm, no, I should have just used Psychic Boots because Psychic's super effective against fighting, actually. What was I thinking? Oh. <laughs> so it's Fairy 2. I, you know, it just works. It just works. Annihilate. Is that what it's called? Uh, let's use another moon bat blast. Ha! Ah! Hold on, I'm dead. I might be dead. Yeah. So I'm actually struggling. I haven't used Garchomp that much. Uh, Drake Breath. Why is your. Okay. All right, please, Donald. Don't let me down. <laughs> Air slash. Special defense fell. It's good. All right. Uh, I 
I think I can survive one more hit. Barely! Just kill. I might have to use a potion after this. Uh, Lucario. You know what? Let's do a Lucario on Lucario match. Let's see how this goes. Just because I, I want it. I, I want to. I feel like this would be entertaining for content. Uh, let's, uh, close combat. I am more higher leveled, so there we go. Reva Room. Okay. I, I refuse to lose, so please let me your strength. So I think it was just uh, uh, the Pokemon, a previous Pokemon was sent out because uh, because I used Aura Sphere, or I. Because I used a fighting type move before, I think, on a previous fighting type Pokemon. I think it must have been like. It was like some other type too, and I didn't count for that. We're gonna have to keep using close combat. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> Actually, no. Maybe not. Speed rose. Okay. Yeah, see, because here, close combat, it's effective. But when I was against Lucario before, then it was super effective. So, I don't know. I always thought fight was super effective against fight. I think it's just the uh, difference between different Pokemon, maybe? With having different types? I don't really know. Yeah. <laughs> My team is almost dead. Holy crap. Let's summon out the duck. And then let's heal the duck. I'm really not that worried yet. <laughs> I, I may have looked bad that I only have two Pokemon left on my team that aren't fainted, but it's okay. I'm trying not to use revives too if I don't need to. Uh, Air Slash, super effective. Should I be able to survive this? Okay. Air Slash. Okay. I should be fine. As long as I keep using Hyper Potions and whatnot, yeah, just keep doing this. Of course, power. I like them do enough. Uh, one more air, uh, uh, air slash. Okay, that won't do anything besides raise its defense. Uh, or speed, I meant. Speed and attack. <laughs> I knew that. I thought it was just defense, but then I forgot it was if I attack it. Uh, let's do one more air slash. Here's some kill. Okay. So I may be struggling here. It's almost dead. I am definitely going to use a revive though. Just in case if Iris somehow manages to die, which may or may not happen. I'm still happy I've died. I'm having a flying type move right now. <laughs> Bye. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, let's send out Donald. I am not taking chances. I am just going to use a uh, hyper potion right away. Combat three. Okay. Um, I'm paralyzed too. Great. Maybe. Okay. Now the Zork is uh, recovered. So here's what I'm thinking. Donald's going to be dead. That's fine. But now that uh, I have a normal ghost type out again instead of just a dark, uh, this may work out in my favor. So let's just heal. Let's just be safe. And if I die, I'll just cut to when I actually feel like. Man, I really struggled here. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. Use Bitter Malice. That's fine. It can raise its attack and speed. That's okay. At least I get a hit off of this. I hope this works. Okay. Woo! I didn't have to redo that. That's good to know. <laughs> you do the area of Deep Star. That, that was really challenging. Oh. Alright. We did it. <laughs> Oh my god, we cleared everything on the map. I'm so sorry, everyone. More exposition. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry if it go a little too far. Now, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides toward mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Aerie. 
even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. Oh, so all these exposition things are before the battle of the bullies. Got it. See, nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, uh, sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have not have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. Well, lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that we all got together and riffed on the gym badges designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like, I want to give it my all. I gave my all. <laughs> like, a year and a half ago. <laughs> but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I w I'd want you to have this. Yay! A postcard. I like you try out my trademark move too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. Even though Lucario already knows it, and I think so does Donald. Um, I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just, just really, really. Ah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Looks like it's over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what do you want to ask me? You seem to be much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. Damn. She's an amazing person and athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got her classmates joining too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once our one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I had been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side, and she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. But there are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bully. If you're hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Oh no, I merely. Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Aw. I kind of feel bad now. <laughs> Alright, we did it! We finally did everything! Um, except for, like, the last grind, I think. The last, uh, take out the champion, the Elite Four. And then, uh, whatever is going to happen after this. The big boss. Rototototo. Peyton, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Eerie Star Badge? We sure did. Without the boss, the Cap Squad should be a hair's uh, beneath from disbanding. So, Eerie was the last. All five squad bosses have been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the Academy. Nice work out there, Pan. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward pin, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay. I earned 20,000 LP. Now I'll make more TMs with the TM machine. Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Payne his bonus reward now. I got lots of Pokemon materials. At uh, long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Who's, where's the big boss? W don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true day of the big boss! It 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It, it was really that obvious. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends and treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Peyton, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. And I'll see you both there. I called it! So Cassiopeia was the big boss of the Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. I knew it. There's some things that I didn't know, like that. There were some things I didn't know, like eventually I'll have to go in the center of the map. I think for like the late foreign champion, I think. But I did not know that for sure. And now I do. And I really called that out. <laughs> It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the academy school year. Let's uh, prepare as best we can before heading over. Alrighty. Oh my god, it feels so good. We did all the po we got all the Pokemon centers. We got all the the things. I really need to heal. Holy crap. <laughs> um, we did it. We did it. We cleared the map. The map is cleared i'm going to take a little bit break <laughs> from this recording session i might come back honestly <laughs> but we are really close now we just have to uh become a champion uh talk to professor sada i guess and then uh talk to cassiopeia and then that's it that's it that's the game we pretty much did everything we can oh my god we're almost done i kid you not I really want to continue to play this game now, so um, yeah, we're, we're going to continue playing this. Um, I realized that as soon as I stopped that recording when I said I would take a break, because can you not, I record from 10 to like 2.20 and it's now 2.37. I took like a 10 minute break and I, I thought it would be like an hour, but nope. We're going to keep recording, baby. Um, at least I can get the item here. Oh, another TM. I need to see another item nearby. Fire Blast, Need, and uh, you, this, this, that, that, and then there was this trainer we have to battle. Ooh, Arcanine. There's the another one I need to get, yeah, I think. Actually, do I have Arcanine yet? I don't. Okay, let's use Meteor Smash, Mash. Um, okay, of course you avoided it. Ow. Uh, actually, let's try Aura Sphere. I want to do some more damage, but I don't think this will kill it. Okay, good. Fine with this so far. Uh, Ultra Ball. Hopefully this will work. I am so dead with this. Yup. Hey, we got it. Okay, nice. Whoa. <laughs> I can d I'm messing with the camera. I forgot that was a feature again. <laughs> and I just figured that out like an hour ago. This Arcanine looks like a crag to me. That's probably you. These falls are said to be quite famous. I'll help commemorate your visit with a fine battle. Uh, but yeah, my plan is just to uh, make sure I got everything that I need in this area. And then we'll go see Professor Sada. Then we'll talk to Cassiopeia. And then I think what we'll do is then we'll try to become the champion. So I feel like the champion should be like the last, last thing we do. So uh, let's do that last. I think that is a decent plan that I should go with. And we'll see what uh, what happens uh, as we go along. So I guess we'll work it out. The sweat was pouring down my back like a kiss cascade for you once i do every all the uh normal game stuff i think then i'll break the uh i have to name everything with the ai generated name curse i mean legendaries i might go with the ai generated name or i might not i don't know we'll see oh there he is he's just hiding underneath here okay we'll do this i'm assuming after this we'll be able to fly with or not fly a battle with Grydon. So that should be pretty cool. I don't know where... Is he at, like, uh, not here? 
at the top? Maybe he's down here. Ooh, there is an item here, though. How did I miss this? It's a revive, though. I'll take it. Maybe they just generate on the map over time. Maybe that's the thing. Oh! See, I have no idea what's going to happen next. I'm assuming I'm getting Garida. Seriously, you beat me here? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There'd be better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. I can't wait to find out too. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. Well, let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her e even uh, ever even playing with me, her own kid. Mabo Stiff's the only one who was there for me always. Alrighty. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. Alright, here we are. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I have no idea what's going to happen. Dusty, that's for sure. Oh, it is her. I need your help. You don't say. Please elaborate. Uh, I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero and the Great Crater of Paldea. I've been researching a unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. Final step? But there's something we need first, something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? Uh, this expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. Alright. I'm down. I must note, however, that Area, Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be weighing you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Oh wait, do I have to talk to Cassiopeia and then Namoda? To do this? That's kind of interesting. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabo Stiff got wounded in the first place. Down the great crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? We might find our treasure, man! <laughs> it's like, I have bad memories of that place, but we'll find treasure, I say. Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. Yeah, Arvin's like, I do not want to go to that place. And now I'm like, yeah, let's go to that place. <laughs> and I just can't stand by and watch while friend heads off into danger on his own. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'm going to. Yay. Besides, I'd love to give mom peace of my mind. All right. All right, then, Pena, outside. We're going to have a Pokemon battle, see if we're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, your squirrel uh, is very killable. <laughs> uh, can I interact? All sorts of research data is displayed on the monitors. Okay. 
Am I missing anything else? Mysterious device, better not touch it. Uh, whiteboard is a mess of scribbled letters and numbers. There are picture books for kids. One of them tells a story about making a big sandwich. So that's where he got the idea that he needs to make sandwiches all the time. So, what now? Let's talk to Arvin here. Alright, you ready for a bell? Yes, I am. Excellent. You ready to write Mabo Stiff? Well, wolf, wolf. Yes, Mabo Stiff says he's ready. You're battling Mabo Stiff? Okay, yeah. I can see why you're, you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You'd never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Uh, won't leave me alone. Always whining at me. Wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even when he always lost to that student council girl. The battle fanatic one you don't say. Anyway, my point is there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Armin and Mabu stiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Alright. Yeah, I, I honestly, I thought at first, it, the Mabu, when I first saw the Mabu stiff, I thought it was because um, it, it was like dying of old age or something. <laughs> And the herbs was like, would like prolong his life or something. But I guess not. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Herba Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Oh, he has a full team. Why didn't you use this team before? Alright, well, we'll just Terra Blast on your entire team then. I'm fine with that. Let's see what Terra Blast does. Kill the Squirrel. Qu Squirrel was almost good, but they're not quite good. I'll play. This should do it. Right. I do wonder who else is in his team besides Mabo Stiff. Uh, Garganic. Cole. Oh, that guy. That must be, like, it, it must have been, like, the, um, the little rock guy. Does this guy have three evolutions? This might be the first time we've seen it, though. This one look at it, it's like, oh, it's the thing from, like, the one little rock thing I caught that one time. And I think I had the second evolution, too, so... Um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, why did I use Happy Hour by accident? Happy Hour, yay! Everybody's caught up in the happy atmosphere! Ow. Let's use Spin Malice. That did not help. Oh no. Oh. Well, that's not good. Let's say now, uh, don't duck, because it looks like it's a rock type. I'm assuming it's a rock type. And, uh, we can use liquidation. Okay, that landed. Plus, Donald has high speed, I think, too, compared to that, I was assuming. Uh, Toad Scroll. Oh! It's like Tentacruel, but... Okay, it's that for I've never seen that yet. That's a new one for me. I've seen the, uh... Tentacruel, uh... The, the pre-evolution form of that. I think we caught that one. But I've never seen this form yet. So that's kind of interesting. Oh no. See, Arvin, why did you use this team? Before you could have used this team before, you could have helped me out, but you did it. Why? <laughs> this would have been so much easier to team that Herb and Mystica uh, Pokemon. Actually, it would have been a lot faster. I, I still would have been able to do it on my own. Oh my god! I think I should send somebody else out. Garchomp? I really don't know its type. Is the thing. Why is it so powerful? Oh no, I spam. And I'm done. I feel like Bubbles is my only ray of hope right now. Uh, let's use, uh, close combat. Okay, we finally killed that. Thank gosh. Oh, it's 
the guy that looks like it's Peppers. I don't want to get rid of my uh, defense that easily, so I'm going to use... Okay, that was crit, though. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill! Why does it no fire type moves? Then again, I suppose it looks like a Peppers, so that makes sense. I should probably use a full restore on this. Oh no, 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 no. What was I thinking? Uh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? That was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. Let's use it on uh, Zork. I feel like Zork is going to be helpful. Mostly because it's really high level. Don't die. Don't die. Uh, we're going to use another revive. Uh, let's use it on uh, the duck. I should be able to survive one more hit. That's different. Okay. Garbart, uh, you, your death was not in vain. We were able to heal two Pokemon. <laughs> Terra Blast. I just need to kill this. Uh, Cloyster. Let's keep our current Pokemon. I'm going to try Bitter Malice. Okay, good, good. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> I... Mabo stuff. All right, let's see. Let's see if he's really like God level power. Uh, intimidate. I might struggle against Nimona if I'm having to struggle against Arvin. Well, let's celebrate your full victory recovery with the globe. Time to terrestrialize Mabu Stiff. Oh boy, I don't even know what type it is currently. And it's a dark type. That could actually be helpful. Um, I think that's good. But I forgot if that's... This might be bad. <laughs> this might be bad. Okay, I just need to make sure it doesn't use a, um, a dark type move, and I should be fine, but let's just use Terra Blast. Right, this might be it. Oh gosh, okay. That could have ended a lot worse than what just happened. Just... Alright, a couple turns to go. That toad screw, like, literally screwed up my entire team. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we we defeat your team, man. We were so close, Mabu Stuff, so close, but pain. Thanks, little buddy. Twenty-five thousand. What the? That's a lot. Dang. This is the strength of someone who can take down those tiny Pokemon, huh? Why didn't you help me with them before? Uh, yeah. Much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're going to need some more support. Uh, the Pokemon area, area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird ma machines there, too. Yeah, I suppose if I struggle against you, I'm going to need more people. <laughs> I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Huh. You don't say. Oh, I was going to say Cassiopeia, but maybe Nimona? Uh, Penny, Penny with the... Uh, Cassiopeia with the technology stuff. Anyway, the student council girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level as in champion rank level. Oh, so I have to become a champion no matter what. Okay, well that takes my plan and mix it up. Uh, I... Okay, but well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think could be a help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if you can, can't get a team to get together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Okie doke. Alright, so I guess Path of Legends. Complete! That was it? Alright. I guess the creator is the last thing I need to do then. So I guess I need to talk to Cassiopeia and do Nimona before I go to the creator. Alright, well, uh, I see it. Okay, I'm not going to battle her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just random NPCs that uh, spawn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the NPCs just spawn wherever and you can rebattle them uh i don't think i'll get much experience though so uh i'll get money but i don't think that much money since i'm in that early area oh there's a pokemon center here i never did neat okay so i thought about it 
But I think what we're going to do is actually Cassiopeia. Stick with the plan. Uh, Arvin, Cassiopeia, Nimona. And then I guess to the crater. I didn't think that would be the very last thing. I knew I had to go there at some point. I didn't know uh, whose story it was that I would need to go to the crater. So I guess it's Arvin's story. Or it might be all three. I don't know. All I know is I'm eventually going to have to go to the crater. I don't know anything about the story. I don't know anything about what's going to happen in the end. Like I said, Cassiopeia being the big boss at the end was like completely like... I called it out, but like I, I didn't know for sure. So I'm glad that I was able to piece that together on my own without any outside help. But let's talk to Cassiopeia. Oh, it's you. Hi, Clive.